Today we got two incredible ancient warrior cultures going head to head. The Amazons versus the Spartans. Who's come out on top here? Let's find out. Themyscira is an isolated island on Earth created by Zeus that serves as home to the Amazons and the birthplace of the demigoddess Wonder Woman. It's a city-state reminiscent of ancient Greece and is protected by some kind of barrier that conceals the island from the outside world. When Zeus created humanity, Ares held a great disdain for them, began corrupting man's heart towards hatred, violence, and war. In response to this, Zeus created the Amazons, an all-female race of warrior women with the purpose of protecting mankind from Ares by spreading love and compassion. However, men ended up enslaving the Amazons until Apollo led them to rebellion and escaped. Condemned by the gods of Olympus for this warmongering, Ares ended up murdering nearly all the old gods, who was sent in exile to Earth by Zeus. Furthermore, Zeus created the hidden island of paradise of the Mascara for the Amazons in order to conceal them from Ares and the outside world, before Zeus succumbed to the wounds he sustained at the hands of Ares. For thousands of years afterwards, the Amazons flourished and lived in peace under the rule of Quintipolita, preparing and training for the eventual return of Ares. The Mascara would remain undisturbed until 1918, when Steve Trevor, crashing off the island of coast, was rescued by Princess Diana. Soon after, the German Navy came ashore at the Mascara in search of Trevor, where they fought against the Amazonian army. The Amazons eventually won the battle, but they caused us several Amazonian deaths, including the lead general of the Amazons. This spurred Princess Diana to sail from Themyscira with Steve Trevor in order to defeat Ares, launching her superhero career as Wonder Woman. From there, the island of Themyscira went back to relative peace to the Battle for Earth, when Steppenwolf managed to retrieve the Mother Box from Themyscira, prompting Queen Hippolyta to warn daughter Wonder Woman. So, as we got one corner, the Amazons. But, Enter the ring, the other corner, well, it's the Spartans. The Spartans were fierce, ordered, and rigorously trained warriors from the city-state of Sparta in ancient Greece. In August 480 BC, King Leonidas set out to meet Xerxes' army at Thermopylae with a small force of 300 men, where he was joined by forces of the Greek city-states, who put themselves under his command to form an army between 4,000 and 7,000 strong. He only chose 300 Spartans because he had taken the entire Spartan army, he needed the permission of the council, who he knew would not agree with him. He therefore chose a small number, saying that they were his personal bodyguard, not representing Sparta in any way. This force was assembled in an attempt to hold the pass at Thermopylae against a massive Persian army of between 80,000 to 90,000 men in arms, who had invaded from the north of Greece under Xerxes' command. The battle begins soon after the Spartans refusal to lay down their arms. Using the hot gates to their advantage, as well as their superior fighting skills, the Spartans repel wave after wave of the advancing Persian army. During a lull in the battle, Xerxes personally approaches Leonidas to persuade him to surrender, offering him wealth and power in exchange for his allegiance. Leonidas declines and mocks Xerxes for the inferior quality of his fanatical warriors. In response, Xerxes sends in his elite guard, the Immortals, later that night. The Spartans nonetheless managed to defeat the Immortals with few losses, with slight help from the Arcadians. On the second day, Xerxes sends in new waves of armies from Asia and the Persian subject states, including war elephants, to crush the Spartans once and for all, but to no avail. However, on the third day, but being betrayed by one of their own, the Spartans find themselves surrounded on all sides, where Leonidas and the remaining Spartans fight to the last man till they finally succumb to an air barrage. So who wins? Well, let's break it down. Now, I actually really like the idea of Amazons versus Spartans, considering how similar they are in methodology and weapons and skills. They're even both Greeks. So these two warrior cultures ever came to blows, who'd come out on top here? Well, today, that's what we're going to find out. Alright, getting started, let's lay down a few ground rules. First off, no Wonder Woman. 
and that's fairly obvious, but Diana won't be in this fight. She could beat the Spartans all by herself. Secondly, we'll be throwing 300 up against 300. Because, I mean, you can't really have the Spartans in a fight and not make their number 300. That's almost sacrilegious. So let's get started. Well, here's the thing about Themyscira and Amazons in the DCEU. And really, it's a larger problem with the DCEU as a whole when we're using it in a versus video. Their power level is just way too inconsistent and kind of all over the place. Yeah, they're insanely fierce and highly trained warriors, ready to battle against the world of men at any moment. On one hand, World War I German soldiers may take a few of them out during the battle on the beach. Now, we can't overlook the fact that the Amazons did all about the soldiers with guns, which is swords and bow and arrows, so that is impressive and shows their skill, but apparently, they're just as vulnerable as any of the humans on Earth. And while their army is athletic and clearly very skilled, perfect for speed and mobility, they're not very durable. But then flip the script. During Justice League and Steppel's attack on Themyscira, they did remarkably well, especially given how comparatively poor they did against the German soldiers. They would battle against parademons, who are clearly superhuman. Just two of them were able to hold up that massive gate and a group of them even managed to momentarily restrain Steppenwolf. However, there's also the question of how hard Steppenwolf was actually trying throughout that fight, as he was clearly enjoying himself, and he even encouraged Apollo to run so that he could chase her. But here's what we do know. The Amazons are at least in peak physical condition, if not superhuman strength. They are able to momentarily strain Steppenwolf and hold him back from getting the Mother Box. But this doesn't put them on par of Aquaman or Wonder Woman, obviously. At best, it puts them on par of Pure Demons and close to the likes of Batman. But then some of them are definitely superhumanly strong. Being able to shatter those massive wooden pillars with one swing from a hammer, and then two of them keeping that massive stone gate open. But on the other hand, they're definitely not superhumanly durable. As parademons were killing them, Steppenwolf was casually taking them out, even one bullet from World War I gun was enough to bring them down. Then they are very agile and mobile fighters, flipping all around and jumping over opponents. They're a lot better at this than the Spartans. The Amazons are also skilled fighters, very skilled fighters, and fight an array of weapons. They got swords and spears, obviously, shields that can actually block bullets. They fight on horseback, and unlike the Spartans, the Amazons fight with bow and arrows. Spartans believed that bow and arrows were cowards' weapons, because they killed from a range, so they didn't use them. Amazons have no such qualms about using them, as on their edge in their corner. But Spartans have advantages in this fight too. For starters, Say what you will about the Amazons and their physicality, Spartans are in great shape as well. They were able to push back or power the Persians, showing that all of them are physically superior than the average man. At least some of them were able to fight against that giant oath. It was very clearly superhumanly strong. However, the Spartans' greatest asset here is their skill and fighting ability, especially their ability to fight as a group. I mean, they've taken on incredibly bad odds before and fought through them and won, beating countless Persian soldiers and even the mortals, who are Xerxes' elite guard and the best fighting force in all of Asia. Individual Spartans, like Astinos and Stelios, took on at least 30 different Persians back to back, and background fodders were taking on two immortals at once. The Spartans also fought of much better battle tactics and formations always in their shields, and fighting as one unit instead of 300 individual men. So I think with all that being said, Amazons being physically superior and having better weapons, while Spartans are better at fighting as a unit, I think they can both win in different scenarios. If the Amazons were attacking the Spartans at the hot gates just like the Persians, the Spartans win. The Amazon physical advantage isn't that massive over the Spartans, and their versatility is just like the Persians' versatility. Didn't really help them out there too much, did it? But on the other hand, 
the battle is taking place really anywhere else where the Spartans can be attacked on all fronts instead of just from the front, the Amazons win. They're on horseback, have their bow and arrows, and are already much more maneuverable, work pretty well as a group too. The only reason the Spartans were able to fight against the Persian army was their location. I think the only reason the Spartans can beat the Amazons on a consistent basis in this fight would be location too. Other than that, you have to give this one to the warriors of the Mascara. The Amazons win. But what do y'all think? I would love to hear your thoughts. Sign off in the comments down below. Also, be sure to the like button, subscribe button, turn notification on the Fanco Army, and I will see you next time.